I think one of the most important skills and talents that a person can have is that ability to inspire themselves and other people to crazy, hairy, audacious finish lines. You know, especially when the stakes are high and the obstacles are big and change is the only thing that's ever gonna stay the same. And that's the gift that I try to give from stage. Uh, the tools to help people be that kind of leader and to be that kind of teammate. And I do it by using some crazy examples and stories from my sport of adventure racing. I, I like to let people know up front that I know that nobody in the room wants to be an adventure racer <laughs> because, you know, for the most part, they're way too smart and, you know, they have real jobs. According to Fast Company Magazine, though, who is actually the inspiration for this presentation after they featured our adventure racing team in an article called Extreme Teamwork, every successful professional is in an adventure race every day of their lives. Because you guys have small teams of men and women trying to make it through a seemingly endless series of checkpoints in pursuit of a nearly impossible goal, working against extreme time pressures in a constantly changing industry with the goal of doing it among the best of the best in the world. Hi, adventure racers. What you guys do every day, that's not a sprint, that's an endurance race, right? Most important thing we learned out there had nothing to do with sports. What we learned is that the secret to winning is to play less as an individual and more as a team. As a coach, as a leader, you play not your 11 best, but your best 11. In other words, the magic really happens when you inspire individual team members to be great teammates. I love that African proverb about if you wanna go fast, go alone. If you wanna go far, go together. That idea that to get to any crazy, hairy goal, it involves building a great team around you. A team that always capitalizes on each other's strengths and collaborates to find the best solution and even throws a tow line to a teammate when the going gets tough. And we thinking is really important because the best of the best never have a goal they can accomplish alone. So the way to get to your finish lines is to build a great team around you and go together. And they said, but there's a difference between people that are going to win this race and people that are going to lose this race. It's just that people that are going to win the Eco Challenge are crying, and then he grabbed my hand. And they're walking. <laughs> I think a lot of people see winning as being something mutually exclusive. You know, for me to win, somebody has to lose. But I think the people who most consistently win are the people who realize that the fastest way to their own finish line is in collaborating with other people on the race course who are heading their same direction and helping each other out. So one of your most important skills and talents to have is that ability to see a world full of teammates instead of a world full of competitors. And are you ultimately ruled by the hope of success versus the fear of failure? Next time you're faced with a difficult challenge, think about where your brain goes and hibernates. Are you a person that lives in, what are my fears, my concerns, my obstacles, my worries, and you kind of stew around there? Or do you say, yeah, I'm aware of these things, but despite all these things, what's it still gonna take to win? What is my fastest, best way to this finish line? As I go through the presentation, and we go from story to concept to video, people are hearing, but they're also feeling. And I know that in their minds and hearts are saying, Am I that kind of leader? Can I be that kind of leader? Am I the great teammate that I'm seeing and feeling? Can I be that teammate? I had to quit adventure racing because I discovered that I had stage four osteoarthritis in both of my hips. I was completely crushed uh, and I had to sit with that for a little bit, but I pretty quickly realized that I wasn't gonna be defined by my setback. It was gonna be all about the comeback. Uh, but the neatest thing that these crazy metal hips led me to was the best thing that's ever happened in my life. And that's the inspiration to start the Project Athena Foundation. And we were so thrilled and honored to become one of the 2014 CNN heroes. Project Athena is a 501c3 nonprofit where we help survivors of medical or traumatic setbacks cross crazy, challenging finish lines as part of their recovery. It's really about taking that label of survivor, putting another cape on top of that, that says, you know, I'm not only a survivor, I am a badass endurance athlete. When I leave the stage, I never leave to the sound of people clapping for me. They're cheering for themselves and they're connecting to each other and they're celebrating 
the next huge, hairy, audacious goal that they have in their lives. And that's the best feeling in the world. That's when I know that my work here is done. And that's the reason I walk out from behind the stage in the first place.